Hello everybody, welcome. Everyone's talking about the new Jujutsu Kaisen chapter, chapter 236. And I have an opinion that I think is different from most people and I thought I'd talk to you about it and express my opinion that it was a fantastic chapter. Now a lot of people are hating on the chapter or they're hating the development of what happened in the chapter. Now, before I say what it is, Please get the hell out if you don't want one of the biggest spoilers ever that I can think of. And I don't know how you could find this video if you don't know this spoiler, but this is my warning. Get out, because I'm going to say it, what the big spoiler is. And that is the big development that Gojo is dead. Oh boy. I do want to preface a couple things. First, I am a casual fan of Jujutsu Kaisen. So in this case, I will accept if you want to come in and tell me that I'm an idiot or that I'm stupid or that I don't get it, I'll accept that. That's all right. Because I just think the series is okay to good and I don't love it. In fact, half the time, I'll be totally honest, I don't know what the hell is going on. The calling game I have found to be pretty boring Maybe not boring, but just all over the place. These fights between literal who's, I've gone like this, been like, okay, I don't care, I don't care. Why do I care about this character? I don't even know who this is. So maybe I'm not the best person to listen to, but I think I have a good perspective and I'm gonna give you my prediction for how this is gonna end. I'm joined here by Yuji. I won this in a claw machine. Isn't he cute? Yes, this is our main character. So. If you thought that Gojo was actually going to defeat our main villain, now of course we have that other guy, but to me, Sukuna is probably the main villain, then, boy, it turns out you were wrong, and uh, what were you thinking? Do you really think Sukuna lived inside of Yuji for all that time? That Gojo was just gonna come in and beat him and that was gonna be the end of that? No, there's only one person who has to confront Sukuna, or Sukuna, honestly, I don't know, and defeat him, and that's Yuji. Yuji has to do it. Now, I will say I'm surprised that Gojo was in this box, came back, and then was pretty much immediately killed. So I have to be honest, I knew Gojo was not gonna win, but I didn't think Gojo was actually going to die. What I figured would happen was there would be some, some some kind of draw and then they would both retreat because Gojo is such a big main character and I think he'll be back. But we'll get to that in a bit. So I wanna tell you why I think this was a particularly brilliant move to reveal it all this the way the author did. If you wanted to see it in fight form, then that's your opinion, that's your perspective, that's what you didn't get and you're disappointed. But I think that this was a much more effective and powerful way than just showing the act of Gojo getting sliced in half during the fight. Now let's go through this real quick. So at the end of ch chapter 235, we have Gojo a little beaten up and he looks on and we get the declaration, Gojo won. The idea that Gojo is the winner, the victor, is implanted in our head. Well, what happens next? Hey, long time no see, best friend. Gojo's old buddy. Blah. So now we as the reader are saying, well, what the hell is this? Is this a flashback? But he says, long time no see. What is happening? I've always told my students, when you die, you'll be alone. So please tell me this is just some ridiculous dream. Does it matter? What What does it mean when you die, you'll be alone? What? Honestly, I don't think I would have won even if he didn't have Megumi's 10 shadows. Well, wait a minute, he did win. If you weren't spoiled, and I was, and I'm sure many, most people who read the chapter, who read about these things or go to forums or message boards were, but that's not the way you're meant to read it. At this point in time, you as a reader are meant to be like, what in God's name is happening? It's a brilliant setup here. Okay, 
apparently we're learning that Gojo somehow lost, but we don't know how. And then we cut to this. What? What in God's name is that? Why is Gojo bleeding from the mouth? So, okay, he's dying. But surely our hero, Gojo, he's come back from worse. He'll come back from this, right? And then we get this shocking panel. This is why I think it is so good. Because this is the big reveal. We've had this setup. Gojo is saying that he's dead. He's in some dream space. We're seeing him bleeding. Surely he's okay. Whoa. Oh my God. How did this happen? How could this happen? The unbeatable, the man who cannot lose is dead. How? And then we get the sort of compliment here from the heart, from Sukuna. You could have had the alternate, and I know there's been a lot of complaints, and this is what I disagree with people, that, oh, I can't believe they off-screened him. I can't believe we didn't get to see the fight. Well, what would the impact have been, narratively, if we just saw the ending to the fight where he sliced him in half? It would have been like, oh, oh, wow, that's, that's surprising. But here you get the impact of, oh, my God. Now, I don't know that I've quantified this <laughs> other than screaming into the microphone about the way that this, this was unveiled it was brilliant. I hope that I have, and I hope that, that you understand what I'm saying, because if not, I'm just going to sound like a raving lunatic. And if I do, that's fine. If you would have played out the fight, it, you wouldn't have had these moments of confusion in the reader, of shock of what's going on. He is manipulating your emotions. And again, this only works if you didn't know it was coming. Because he declared, it's kind of like a magic trick. Gojo is the winner. Sleight of hand. Gojo's chopped in half. Gets you in the heart. This is a shocking image. And it's not anything you ever expected to see. Now, the big question, of course, is, with Gojo, by far the strongest, how in God's name are they going to defeat Sukuna? I have an idea of where this is going based on what's happening in the story and what I know about Japanese writers of manga. And this is my guess. And I'm not saying this is what I want or that I even think this would be good if the author did this, but it's what I think is going to happen. Every character that has died is coming back. Every single one. And that would explain why this author is so quick to kill everybody. And how's he gonna do that? Well, listen, I don't understand the rules of jujutsu. Honestly, I don't particularly care to go into the details of the rules of wizardry in this world. But if Yuji were to go and somehow get Sukuna back or eat the fingers. Some kind of jujutsu magic is going to bring everybody back. And then I see them all going and having this big final battle with Sukuna and Yuji is going to be the one. And God, it would be so terrible if it was like the Avengers, which is garbage, but where it's like, oh, we're all coming back. Look at us all. And uh, basically Sukuna would be like Thanos and they're all gonna be like, oh, I'm badass. Yuji's Iron Man, essentially. Where he's the one who got everybody there. I predict that the person who will kill Sukuna is Gojo. But you still had Yuji, your main character, overcoming whatever bullshit he overcame and essentially being the main hero, the MVP. And then Gojo would be the co-MVP. And I don't think, honestly, that that is good. And I hope it doesn't happen. It is brave for an author to kill off major characters. And this author loves to do it. You got to ask yourself, okay, if what I just said isn't going to play out, literally, how? Who is going to kill this guy? It's like... Tokyo 
Revengers. If you don't know how that ends, once again, please get out. Get out! Had a terrible ending. Horrible. Everything that happened was pointless because they just went back in time and fixed everything and everybody came back and was happy. Now we knew that was gonna happen because it was all too dark. And I feel like it's, it's a similar thing that's happening here. I think it would be Kino if they didn't come back to life, but I'm sorry to say, if I had to put money on it, everybody's coming back. Megumi's sister's coming back. The robot guy's coming back. My interest in Jujutsu has certainly skyrocketed. And I will say that I, I do know that the author, if you haven't seen it, he doesn't particularly care for Gojo as a character. It's been speculated that maybe his editors force him to insert a sensei type character and uh, Gojo was it. So I just, you know, it, it, let's say Gojo doesn't come back. Then I would, I would go and say it wasn't good writing to put him in a box, bring him back and then kill him. The only reason you'd really do that is if you truly despised him as a character, which apparently, you know, could be the, the case. That that's it. Yuji, good luck. Take him down, buddy. You can do it. You can win. You can be the hero. You were born to be. Thank you. Have a wonderful time. Goodbye. And I'll see you soon. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, have a nice day. Let's go outside and have a nice day. Have a nice day, yeah, have a nice day. We're gonna go outside and have a nice day.